Hi guys and thank you for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be filming possibly one of my favourite uh, type of videos to film and that is a haul video. I am going to be trying to remember to mention the prices for everything and I'm also going to link everything I do mention in the description down below. I'm going to start off with this but it'll kind of make more sense um, when I show you something else I bought later. But this is hamster food, it's science selective pellet. Um, they don't look the most appetising but it's just um, little blocks like this. Now, I've been thinking a lot recently about changing up my hamster's diet and I've been looking into it a lot and a lot of people recommend a high quality muesli mix mixed with lab blocks. And if you're in the UK, the science selective ones seem to be the go-to. Personally, I'm not too sure if um, you need to do this if your hamster's eating all of their muesli food. I think that um, should be perfectly fine, but since this is what's recommended, I'm, I'm going to give it a go. Um, first and see how it goes down. So I bought this bag from Amazon and I paid £2.47. Next up also from Amazon are these. Now you can't tell what they are um, in the packet. So let me get them out. So I bought two of these. These are digital fridge freezer thermometers. Um, I've already used one. I've put one in the detail just to check but people use these as cage thermometers. It just looks like this. We've got a little bit of bubble wrap on there but you can kind of see the screen. So um, I just thought I'd grab a couple of these so I could keep an eye on the temperatures in my cages. They also have like a little hook on here which uh, is what I've used to attach it to the detail. So I bought this one for the poor hut um, but I don't have a way of attaching it yet so I've got to figure something out. But I picked up a couple of those and I bought them as a two pack and they were £8.99. Okay and the last thing I got from Amazon, um, kind of heavy, <laughs> is... Um, these so this is some um cocoa fiber i've been looking for this um for quite a while you can grab it from pets at home but they're out of stock so i had to look on amazon for it and you can buy the blocks individually there are six blocks in here um here's what they look like so you can buy these individually but it's just um a completely dry block that you add some water to and break it up i've never used it before so um we'll see how it works but for the six blocks of this it was 15.99 Okay, so that was everything from Amazon. Next up, I have a couple of things from Rat Rations. Now, if you've heard of Rat Rations before, you've probably heard of it due to their food mixes, which is exactly what I bought. Uh, like I said, I was looking for um, improving my hamster's diet, so I decided to go with the Rat Rations mix. I did look at a bunch of different ones. Um, but this is it here. Now, it doesn't come in the glass jar. I already opened it, so I had to move it um, into a jar that I bought. Um, so it doesn't come in the glass jar. It just comes in a little bag. But if I just... Uh, hold it up there you can kind of see what the mix looks like a couple of things um, that drew me to this one was it was species specific and it also has animal protein included as well and because I've opened it I have used a little bit I gave a little bit of <laughs> two one down it seemed to go down really well so I'm going to kind of like start cutting down on the Harry's hamster and then upping this um, to slowly change her across to this food but that wasn't the only thing I got from Rat Rations. Um, I also had a look at the other hamster stuff um, they had. They didn't have much, um, but they did have this. Let me take it out of the bubble wrap. Uh, it's a little green ceramic hide. Now, I do already have one of these uh, in blue, but ceramic hides are super useful when it comes, um, especially to summer, because they're a great place to keep cool. You can also put them in the fridge. Um, and add them into the cage already cool. So I think they're super useful. You can never have enough, <laughs> in my opinion. So I bought one of those. So the food, I did end up buying a kilogram of the food. So um, it actually ended up filling two of those jars and I had a little bit um, left over as well. Um, and the food was £7.80 and then the ceramic hide was £6.54. So with delivery for the whole order, it was £18.54. Okay, so moving on to just a couple of little things I picked up from Wilco, one of which is the jars that I put the rat rations food in. Um, so these are from Wilco and these were £2 each. And then I also picked up um, some of these. So these are little tea light holders. Um, you can see on the bottom there they are made for tea lights. But these make absolutely great um, water bowls. And I don't go to Wilco very often, so I picked up another pack of uh, these. And this was only a pound for the three of them. So everything I've got left is from Via there, let's start with this. So, I bought some uh, sprays. This mix is the Harvest uh, Festival. Harvest Festival sprays. This is from Rosewood. Um, it has a couple of different things in here. We've got oat grass, dill, flax, and peppermint. Now, these do have quite a smell. I'm pretty sure it's the peppermint um, that makes them 
smell so strong. Um, ideally, I would just prefer to buy oat sprays on its own, but they're not the easiest to get. The oat sprays, if you can see them, this actually doesn't have a bunch of them in. It's the one that has the little circular um, tops. That's oat sprays. Um, I find they go down the best, and of course, there's not that many in here. Um, so I would kind of like to just buy oat sprays on their own in the future. But I saw this on um, Biovet when I was on there, and I have bought it before from Pets at Home, I believe, and apart from the strong smell um i find they go down uh, really well with the hamsters so i thought i'd get some while i was ordering and this was 269 which i believe is um a little cheaper than you can get it from at pets at home and next up i have something that is a little more um boring but it is some disinfectant i was running out of this so much so that i have already um used some of this i just put it back in um for the haul because i did order this from um biovet so this is the johnson's clean and safe I've used this, um, you know, for quite a few uh, years now and I've never had any issues with it. So it's one of those things I constantly repurchase and they sell it on Vivet. So since I was ordering from there, I got some of it. So next up, I bought a couple of different tunnels. I'll start off uh, with this one. So this one is a seagrass tunnel and this is by Rosewood. So yeah, seagrass play tunnel in the size small. Although this is, um, <laughs> I ordered this in a small because I wanted more dwarf size things. Um, but as this would be actually uh, the perfect size for a Syrian as well, I think. Uh, especially if you've got a mouse Syrian, they tend to be smaller. So I wouldn't worry about um, needing to order a large in this for a Syrian. But it is just a tunnel and it has a couple of entrances um, on the sides as well. I actually don't um, have anything made of seagrass at the moment, I don't believe. But this seagrass tunnel costs £3.19. So moving on to the other tunnel I bought, this one, also by Rosewood, is the Hay and Hide, again, in the size small, so that is what the label looks like. So it is um, a little tunnel with just hay added to it. So I will just mention um, the size for this one, because this one, as you can see, is actually um, super small. So this is 19 centimetres long, but the diameter of the circle is um, 7 centimetres. So this is definitely a dwarf or robo size product, and it is £3.99. So next up we have a couple of smaller things. I have a couple of chews, starting off with this Rosewood. Uh, again, another Rosewood product, Borden Breaker. So this is the little caterpillar chew that they have. Um, it's basically a bunch of wooden beads on a string. But it has a little, uh, a little caterpillar face there. And then there's a little look at the beads. And the caterpillar chew was one ninety nine. Okay, so next up we have this little willow chew. Now, uh, this is by Nature's First. I think this is the first thing that's not rosewood uh, that I've pulled out of the box. But as you can see, it's just uh, it's made out of willow, and it's this spiral chew. And the willow spiral was two fifty nine. So moving on, we have uh, another rosewood product. So this is the play and hide boot, and it just looks like this. So uh, it's a little grassy hide, obviously. Um, in the shape of a boot and it has uh, a little entrance there and then an entrance at the top as well i use a ton of these um grassy hides tunnels anything like this i find uh works really well and i hadn't actually um seen it <laughs> shaped like a boot before so i saw that one and i thought i would get one of those and the boot was three pounds 79 and moving on to the last couple of things they are very very similar i'll start off um with this one so i got a couple of uh of these little hides so as you can see from the top they are like um corrugated cardboard so these are completely safe to chew and uh, it looks like a little house. So this one is uh, the By Nature's First Edible House for Small Animals. So I got one like this. And then they had another one um, that was pretty similar. Just a slightly different shape. And since I don't order from Viavet, you know, all that often, I decided to get um, to get both of them. So you've got a little, again, tunnel and then a little entrance that looks like a house. Uh, this one just has a different shape on the front. That's the back. So I got two of those and they were $3.99 each. That's it for this haul video. That's kind of everything I've bought over the past few weeks or so. But I do hope you enjoyed watching it. Haul videos are generally one of my favourite types of videos to film. Let me know what your favourite thing from the haul was. Or if you have any of the things that I've bought, uh, please do let me know. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.